All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. So I'm going to show you how to uh, make a family tree in Inspiration. All right, so what you do is, uh, you know, once you have like your setup like this, Jill, Steve, Mike, Wendy, Brad, like that, okay, you start connecting. So the way that you connect is, you're gonna move your cursor to right here, and it changes to like kind of like an eye icon right there. And you left click on that, and you drag a line to there. And you know, uh, you have a line between Steve and Jill indicating that they're married, okay? So if you wanna get rid of this arrowhead, uh, what you can do is actually right click on the line, okay? And give you different options right there. So you wanna use arrow direction. So, you know, you get no arrows right there, left click, and the arrow disappears, okay? So um, the problem was, how do you make a line go from this line right here, the middle of this line, all the way down to Wendy? So uh, a student actually showed me how to do this uh, without too many complications. So on the left-hand side right there, under symbols, uh, you'll see that, oops, there is a text box like that with the A. So left-click on there so that um, you can add a text box like that. So, uh, you know, you can move the text, text box that te text box up here, okay, and in line with um, you know the rest of the everything else. And if you do it like that, um, see this text text box has like this eye icon also. So you left click on that, and then you can drag an arrow down to Wendy, and like that. So now you have a perfect line right there, okay. So. Uh, again, I don't like this uh, arrow thing, so you could just change, you know, you could change the line thickness to um, the arrowhead design, arrow direction. I'm just going to change it to no arrows. Okay, so if you want to make a line going from here to Brad and then to Mike to show that um, Mike, Brad, and Wendy are all brothers and sisters and, you know, they're children of Jill and Steve, then you do the same thing. You, uh, you know, left click somewhere and then you go to the text box option, left click right there, and then you drag the text box into an area that uh, you like right there, let's say right there, and then you know where the eye icon is, and you go like that, and you draw arrows there. So if you want the arrow to curve in a 90 degrees, then you right click on the arrow, and then go to type right here, and it says straight, right angle, curve, or single curve. So choose right angle. And it's gonna give you something like that. So if it's like that, then what you can do is you can move the uh, text box around like that, like this, okay? And then if you wanna raise this point, then left click on this line. And see how there's like this white circle thing right here? You can actually raise it up. So if you left click and hold, uh, you can actually move it up the line and you release. And for here, if you wanna make the uh, bend a little bit higher, uh, same thing on that white little circle, left click and hold, and drag up, and you can do that. Okay, so now it looks like that. Okay, so we're gonna finish up with Brad. So, what you can do is click on the text box right there, and draw another arrow to Brad. Okay, so we want to get rid of that because that looks kind of ugly. Um, you can right click on the arrow. Oh, my bad. It's not clicked on the arrow. So, right click on the arrow. Uh, change the type to uh, right angle curve, um, and then you can move this, uh, the white one, left click on it, and put it right there. Okay, and then you could just kind of adjust it again like that, and then this side, white arrow, that and then you could change the arrowhead type if you don't like it. Change arrowhead or sorry, arrow direction, no arrows. And then, oops, I didn't click on the line. Right click on the actual line type and then straight direction, no arrows. And there you go. Now you have a nice family tree. All right, thank you.